In the previous video, we saw how to load some map coming from uh, the web with uh, web map services and web feature services. But I want to show you now this one, XYZ tiles, because we'll find a lot of cool maps on the web who are actually, which are actually tiles, like the OpenStreetMap OSM standard that we use usually. Look, when we zoom in, we see some square appearing, and the square are actually tiles. So maps is a patchwork of tiles, and X, uh, no Z, is the maximum zoom you can do. Zero is, is the maximum. Uh, X and Y is a position to find the, the, the tile and then all together you can have a big map of the world for example or it can be a country or whatever so OpenStreetMap is a kind of uh, X, Y, Z tile and it's cool to know that because Google Earth it's quite often my students you ask me how to, to load uh, Google Google Map in QGIS, it's possible by using this way of internet um, acquisition. So right click and you will do a new connection. We'll create a new connection, let's say Google Earth, Google Earth, but there is a lot actually, and we have to find the URL, the address. Ta -da! It's here. And here it's what, what is available for Google Earth. And we have roadmap, terrain, satellite, etc. etc. Let's do, for example, uh, hybrid. I copy. So you can recognize that it will be something for X, Y, Z tile because into the address, into the URL, you have an X, Y, Z. Okay? Otherwise, if it's a web map service or something else, you can will be different. Then Google Earth Hybrid. Here in this case I copy the address up and I say OK. And then it should appear now on my possibility. As you can see I have several other tiles but Google Earth Hybrid is here. OK so let me remove this one to have a blank project. Come on. Yes. And then if I double click or I slide, I have my Google Earth hybrid. Nice. And you can see I can zoom a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and we recognize the tiles. You see the square appearing like this. So this is Google Earth hybrid. Here, coming from a X, Y, Z tiles. Now you know. I give you some other examples because on the web maybe we'll find uh, some resources. Whereas I propose to you w WMS, WFS, GeoGison, and the famous TMS, which is Tile Map Service. So Tile Map Service is actually X, Y, Z tiles. Here I'm on a cool website, QMS Quick Map Service Next GIS, where you can have a lot, a lot, a lot of um, uh, maps, but online. Here, for example, if I have all services, I have many, many maps. If you work on fire, let's have a look. Land in Russia, da 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 da. So help yourself. It's like a supermarket of uh, cool, um, cool maps. Uh, me, if I'm looking for something in France, but only TMS tiles, okay. If I, previously, uh, if I want feature service, I can check and select only feature service here, for example. Oh, cadastre. So um, let's have a look. So, cadastre, it's uh, you know, a map of uh, the boundary of each terrain. Uh, each each area owned by people. I don't know if I'm clear, uh, but I think cadastre is also in English. So, what you have to find is the URL, the 
uh, you have to find the address. Maybe we have a preview, so I guess it's only in France. And we will find some cadast or oh, not. Boo. The preview is not super cool. Anyway, let's have a look to our project. So I copy the address. So you can see uh, maximum zoom zero and uh, big one is 24. Okay. I copy, I go here, and then I click in tiles, right click, new connection, I say cadastre, cadastre France. I copy my address, which is ZXY tiles, cool. Okay. And it will appear here, cadastre France. Okay. 